Y'all know what the fuck it is and what the fuck it ain't. Oh, show that face, boy. Show that face. Give me this chain, nigga. Give me this chain, yeah! Boy, yeah, nigga! Bro. Hey, yo, Katie! Take no, this chain! Take this chain! Oh! You don't want this heat with the devil. I'm up in New York, so you better be careful. Boy, you a goofy, no rub. We spin on your block and we shooting like seven. GS9, them niggas jokes. We take them out like we wearing some coats. We catching, we tying with ropes. Niggas be scared, they hiding the low. These niggas be gay when a perm. The gang run this bitch and we taking the turn. We shoot them down, it's confirmed. Bobby should murder a goofy a thorn. No. No, no, no. Oh my god, did y'all hear that man? That man said, I be in New York. <laughs> Ooh, hey, y'all saw that picture? That was him and his baby mama, Tabitha. Oh my god, man. Oh my, did y'all hear that man? This, that man says, he's coming for Rowdy Rebel and Bobby Schmurder and the whole GS9. He said, GS9 is some jokes and they not on nothing. Hey, yo, KD, my boy, I understand where you're coming from. Your whole claim to flame was dissing Slim Jesus. But before Slim Jesus, I don't know if anybody knows, Ayo KD been rapping really since 2014, 2013, a little bit before, but his major claim to fame was dissing Bobby Schmurder. If y'all don't remember, Bobby Schmurder came out in 2013-ish, you know what I'm saying, him and Rowdy Rebel with the whole drill sound. Now, New York drill back then used to sound a lot different than what it does now. Back then, it used to sound like actual Chicago drill music. So Bobby Schmurter got on an interview and said he never listened to Chicago music before, and he never heard of Chicago until Chief Keef. Okay, that last part, that's true. Dang, I ain't listened to Chicago music until Chief Keef, but come on, bro. You know you li you got your style from Ch Chicago drill, bro. Like, it was a video of you and your homie saying, do 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 Yeah, before the fame. So, Bobby, you know who we was. But, um... That's what AOKD claim to fame is coming from. So right now what he's doing is he don't care about him getting whipped on camera, him getting exposed. He's coming back for a Bobby Schmurder diss part two to live off the hype of Rowdy Rebel getting released. Man, I can't forget that beating. That's why I had to throw that in the beginning of this video. I'm proud of you, AOKD, for your comeback. Well, not really a comeback because you never was anywhere to begin with. But as far as you still saving face and keep doing what you're doing, you're not bagging down from adversity. You're not running away from no problems. I'm proud of you. But just stop acting like that stuff that happened with you is irrelevant, like it's just going somewhere. You know what happened with you, AOKD. You know you got to be on camera, and you know that you dissing these people just for clout. This is not Slim Jesus. Roddy Rebel don't got time for this, man. Leave him alone. And it's also kind of sad how famous Dex, Reggie Baby, and it's like they just they just got on and left him. You know, I wanted that kind of make me look at KD like, is you a little fool, bro? Because how your homies keep getting on and they keep leaving you? How your homies keep getting on leaving you? First it started with with Dex, then it was Reggie Baby. They both making a good living. Now Dex, we see his downfall in front of our eyes, but Reggie Baby, he's been real consistent. He's not the funniest person in Chicago to me. That's Shaky Baby, but Reggie Baby ain't letting nothing stop him. And he just on the rise right now, and AOKD is nowhere to be seen. He's still in Chicago, sipping green lean. And that's not me rapping. I'm just saying what it is, and I'll say what I mean. <laughs> okay, that last part was me rapping. But then he hang around Fendi Boy. Fendi Boy starting to cloud his judgment. Ayo, KD forgetting that I don't want to say you was the goofiest Chirac, but you got to rebrand yourself. You can't start hanging around other goofies to make yourself look real. Now, the stuff that happened with you and Ruga, I believe Ruga. I don't believe that somebody climbed in your house, KD. I see you've been trying to fight, so it's like I'm not calling KD a punk, but it's just a different lane he needs to take. And Fendi boy clouding his judgment right now, man. You know he was doing real good before Fendi came back in. He was avoiding the beef. Now he's trying to diss Rico Reckless and Ewo or Sam Mo like they ain't just make you walk off the porch and tuck your tail and your balls. So it's like, man, I don't know what else to do, KD. I feel like you got a mental problem. You just trying to act like the stuff that happened didn't happen. Face tattoos do not make you tough. Dreads do not make you scary looking, and a penis does not make you a man. You have to stand on ten toes and admit, okay, whatever happened. That's why I was rocking with you, KD. That's why I was rocking with you because you, you know, you stood up, you fought Lil Marcus, you fought the other dudes, you fought GHP Weenie. You was actually fighting, probably not winning, but you was trying. <laughs>